Hello and welcome to another instalment of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Today I'm going to be building an FM radio microphone. Do you remember the previous video where I made an FM radio transmitter? Well, I've built another one, and this is it right here. Let's take a look at what we've got here. We have a microphone right there and all the circuitry and a long antenna. This bit here is the microphone preamp and this bit over here is the actual transmitter bit and I've got this on right now with this radio tuned into it and if I turn the volume up we get feedback from the microphone so let's make a little recording on this and see how it sounds. Right, let's make a recording on this tape and see how well it sounds. Right, so I am now recording on the radio transmitter that I made. Well, not recording on it, I'm using the boombox to record, but using this little radio transmitter as the, well, to transmit to the radio now, when I'm, I'm, I'm just going to touch the antenna a couple of times. And I don't even need to speak right up close to the microphone, I can... I can speak all the way over here, but you can't see my head because the stupid camera won't go up far enough. And it still picks me up really good. Now, let's play this back and see how it sounds. Right, so I am now recording on the radio transmitter that I made. Well, not recording on it. I'm using the boombox to record, but using this little radio transmitter as the, well, to transmit to the radio now when I'm, I'm, I'm just going to touch the antenna a couple of times and I don't even need to speak right up close to the microphone I can I can speak all the way over here but you can't see my head because the stupid camera won't go up far enough and it still picks me up really good. Now, let's play this back and see how it sounds. So, it's looking pretty good. It's a good, strong transmission. But I'm really surprised at how well it picks up from this little tiny microphone. I mean, that is, that is a dinky little thing. Let's compare that to the size of a normal electric type microphone. And you can see just how different the size is. I mean... And just look at the size of that thing, it's absolutely tiny. You know, if that wasn't soldered on and I took a deep breath, I'd probably end up swallowing that thing, but... Anyway, I'm going to make a couple of changes to it. This capacitor and resistor connect the preamp to the transmitter bit. I'm going to replace these two with a single 100 nanofarad capacitor. And where the emitter of the preamp transistor is, you can see I've just put a join there which connects it to the ground. I'm going to replace that join with a 1 kilo ohm resistor and see where we go from there. Because I think the preamp's a little bit too strong, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, you might now be able to see that I've replaced that capacitor and that resistor with a 100 nanofarad capacitor. And I've just tested this, and you would not believe how loudly this thing transmits now. I mean... Now, so, yeah, this microphone preamp really is going to need to be made a little less sensitive because right now it just um, is deafeningly loud through the radio and I only have the volume turned up a little tiny bit. Okay, I've put a 500 ohm variable resistor between the emitter of this transistor and uh, I can now adjust the gain of this so I can set the gain of this to anything between completely inaudible and ow my ears. So, let's just do a little test of it. 
I have the radio turned on. Topic, I don't think we'll see any more of now I'm going to connect this up. There we go. Now the radio station cuts out, and now we've got my transmitter coming through the radio. Now I'm going to record something on this. There it goes, recording. I'm now going to speak into the microphone. I am now speaking right up close to the microphone that's in the radio transmitter. I might have set, I've set the gain to just about enough. Now I'm going to play this tape back and see how good it sounds. Now let's have a look at the finished product. Found a nice casing for it, which houses the battery and the circuit board. And here's the microphone in a nice little fluffy bit now. And this is the cover to the case, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, I've got something else stuck on there. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually go on properly because the battery gets in the way. As you can see... This bit goes down fine, but... Can't actually get it over the battery. There's also a power switch to turn it on and off so it doesn't waste the batteries. Now let's take this little thing for a test and see how well it transmits. Well here I am taking the camera outside. I'm recording something on my reel-to-reel. -reel. Anyway, that's wasting time. Now let's see if how far this transmitter can transmit. I'm holding the transmitter thing in my right hand and I'm holding the microphone with the same hand as I'm holding my camera. Now we'll go downstairs and we'll see how far this thing can actually transmit because you're hearing from the radio right now. The boombox is recording this. We're now in the kitchen. Don't know if you can still hear me because I have absolutely no idea if it's still able to transmit down here. You might be hearing a few FM noises whooshing in and out. Here we are in the dining room. A very dark dining room. Does not look like this dark in real life, but it's really dark on the camera. Fresh fruit and vegetables on the table. The TV we still haven't hooked up yet. Lights with one light missing. Don't know if you can hear this at all. There's a um, kitchen. My dinner, which I didn't finish. I wonder what dinner tomorrow. Oh boy, I'm so hungry, I can't eat them. It's a rock. Now oh, coming back upstairs. Oh, the thing's finished. And this is the schematic of the radio transmitter. And I'm actually using my radio transmitter right now to um, record my voice. You know, I've got a computer hooked up to the radio and it's recording. This is the schematic of the radio transmitter. This, transist this part here with this transistor is the microphone preamp. And this one here is the part that actually modulates and transmits to the airwaves. I'd like to point out that this capacitor here is 4.7 picofarad and not 47. It just looks a bit like that in the thing. And this resistor here is to adjust the gain. The less resistance this has, the more gain it will have. And the, the more resistance it has, the less gain it will have. So, so I'm going to adjust that later on. And also find out why... I sometimes lose a signal. I don't know if I'm getting in the way of the radio waves or if that's frequency drift, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Sounds pretty good, as you can hear. And until next time, goodbye. Next time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop, we will be taking a look inside a DVD video laser assembly. That's next time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop.